One year after a massive tsunami killed thousands in Japan and threatened the Oregon and southwest Washington coasts, scientists are still getting some valuable information from the disaster. Oregon scientists are even creating their own tsunamis to learn even more now. And K2's Lincoln Graves shows us a one-of-a-kind facility at Oregon State University that helps people understand these killer waves. Everything's controlled from up there. Down on the floor, William McDougall waits patiently. <laughs> His colleague, Melora Park, gets things ready inside the control room. I have to start with the boards in the zero positions. William gets the go-ahead, eager to show us his experiment. Are you ready? Okay, we're ready. Okay, we're starting the wave maker. It's the tsunami wave pool at Oregon State University, and it gives an up-close lesson on how tsunamis behave. Oh, this is totally cool stuff. The current setup shows what happens when a tsunami runs into an ocean breakwater or harbor, which this yellow barrier represents. This whirlpool or vortex spun off the end of the breakwater from Japan. The videos of the ships and vessels caught in a whirlpool is exactly this. The size of those whirlpools took some scientists by surprise. They designed this experiment in response to study how the whirlpools move and how long they last. Even these small vortexes took time to settle down. These are very persistent, so once you spin them up, they may last five minutes here, but they may last uh, ten times that long in, in reality. And that's just one experiment. The pool can generate all kinds of waves and can be reconfigured for any scenario. Researchers constructed this scaled-down model of the town of Seaside a few years ago and ran several waves into it. The result was eye-opening. Experiments like this show scientists what could really happen in a natural disaster, rather than just imagining it. Why scientists here call this pool a valuable research tool. Hopefully, maybe eventually save more lives is, you know, what we're trying to get to. Lincoln Graves. K2 News. Boy, that is really eye-opening. Uh, OSU Tsunami Wave Pool receives very little state funding. In fact, most of the research there is done with private dollars, such as research grants and donations. 